Hello, ice cream friends. Today we're going to talk about um, assembly and maintenance of uh, Carpajani uh, standard size batch freezers. Uh, countertop ones are a little different. We'll cover that in another video. Um, but this particular model here is the LB502. And uh, we'll get into it and show you uh, what parts we've got here. I'm going to start off with the, the beater or auger dasher. Um, all different terms are used there. Um, <clears throat> this being an Italian made machine, which a lot of batch freezers are, um, just like with uh, any foreign vehicle um, parts, parts are expensive to replace. So whenever you have this beater out of the machine, you need to take extra care to make sure that it does not fall, it does not get dropped, does not get knocked around or anything because um, this here is about $2,000 to replace. And um, I know that would make me very sad. Uh, so what I'm gonna recommend is that you do not ever set it in this orientation here. Always have it laying horizontal like this and make sure it's sturdy. I would even, you know, just for the purposes of this video, I have it on top of the machine. I wouldn't even have it on top of the machine. Don't even put it anywhere where there's a chance of it falling. Um, so, that being said, uh, we can get into the, uh, the seal here. That's going to go onto uh, the drive shaft there. And then we're going to use uh, this um, food, uh, food grade lubricant here. Uh, Petrogel is one option, and also um, this uh, Hanes uh, Lubrifilm Plus. My personal preference is uh, the, the Hanes Lube. I find it to be um, less um, less like Vaseline. I just, to me, it's probably a personal preference as far as feel of it. I just feel like this is more sticky, but um, some companies do recommend this, so uh, you can check with your lo local Carpajani distributor to see um, what they actually recommend you use. I mean, if they say that you need to go with Petrogel, then um, absolutely do that. But we send out most most machines um, with this uh, Lubrifilm Plus here, uh, with the sample size like we've got there. So that's going to go back here on the uh, on the O ring, or the seal, and on the drive shaft, but not on this. A hexagonal part here that actually goes into the coupler for the gearbox if you put lube on there it can cause it to stick in that gearbox and it can be very difficult to then remove the beater so there's that caution there um, and we'll go into the other other parts we've got here you've got your door seal and it's going to go into this channel here inside the machine door and you've got your extraction chute cover and the o-ring goes in there when cleaning make sure you do take that o-ring out get a q-tip in there and just clean all the crud out of there that accumulates uh, occasionally and then you've got your uh, cam lock or or handle or lever that's going to uh, put the pressure on that uh, extraction uh, chute cover to <clears throat> uh, seal up the machine make sure product doesn't leak out and then there's this little uh, o-ring here which goes right here to keep that whole assembly from uh, slipping off. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I'll show you there in a second how that all uh, how that all goes together. Let's go ahead and stick the phone in the tripod here. And we'll get this all assembled. Open the door up. Grab my beater and make sure that I've got a good hold on that. And then I'm not letting it fall. Like I'm just, you don't want it to to fall into your barrel and and hit. So like now you, you kind of have to rotate it sometimes. You want to make sure that it's in there all the way, basically flush with the front of the machine here. And when removing it, just make sure that you're not letting this back shaft fall on the on the bottom of the barrel like that so make sure that you and your employees you got a good grip on that so so we don't want to let that shaft hit the bottom of that barrel there and, and possibly uh cause damage to it so there we go that's in there 
And we're gonna go ahead and get our our door seal pushed in. Uh, now, it is normal for it to need to be worked in a little bit. It is actually slightly bigger than the diameter of the door. That is by design, so that you get a, a really good seal with it. Um, but just kind of work it in, and it will go flat. So you can see there, I do have it there, flush in there. Then we'll close the door. Get that locked down, and then we'll go with our our gate cover here. It can be in either orientation. There's not a there's not an up or down to this. So we'll take this and hold that against there, and then this handle is going to go in the orientation like this. There's this little nub on here you can see, like that. That's going to go just like that into this little channel on the extraction chute cover there, and that's just going to slide right up over there like that. I'm going to take that little o-ring snap it into that channel down there so it doesn't fall off and then just push that down and you are assembled and ready to go and then one last thing to mention here if you have the three-phase version of this machine three-phase power uh, you can reverse direction on three-phase motors Carpet Johnny has made it really helpful here by showing us on this button here that that, mode, that beater is designed to rotate counterclockwise. So uh, when you're uh, wiring the machine up or your electrician setting up the outlet, um, what you want to make sure of is that once you get the machine running, have some, have some water in here, you know, fill it up because uh, it's not good to run it dry. Um, and then just watch here in the extraction chute when you put this on wash here with this button right here and you can see which way it's spinning once you stop it it's sometimes when it's running fast it's sometimes hard to see but when you push the stop button here as is that beater slowing down you can tell which uh, direction uh, it's rotating in and so um, <clears throat> if it is rotating counterclockwise then there's there's two ways to fix that you can switch your outlet or you can switch your plug and so I'll show you on the, so basically what we do to run these in the shop is we just wire nut them together because we have a pigtail that goes into the wall and then <clears throat> these connections here. So you're gonna have uh, four wires on there, red, uh, white, black, and green, greens are ground. Um, I don't recommend switching the red one. I recommend switching the black and white. So what you're gonna do is take, uh, one black wire uh, and one white wire and do those together. The one thing you need to make sure of when you're when you're doing that is that um, you're not putting two wires of the plug together. So make sure that the wires you're connecting is a, a wire from the, uh, the machine to uh, a wire from uh, from the outlet. But that's only really if you're doing it this way. If you're just doing it on, on, on the plug going in the wall, just switch um where the white and black wires are uh, wired up in the plug itself and like here um and that will change the direction on the beater there so um and then the uh only other thing to mention here is uh polarity uh, or uh, not not polarity but uh on the three phase if you have uh what's called a a wild leg what we want to make sure of in, in looking at that is that you have that connected to um, the L3 uh, terminal on the machine. And that is going to be located under this cover here. You take this off. There's an electrical box in there with a cover on that there. You take that off and you can see they'll, they'll be marked L1, L2, and L3. You want to make sure. So if you have a one leg that is higher than the other called a delta, a stinger, or a wild leg, that you hook up that wild leg to L the L3 terminal on the machine here, and your electrician will know how to do that. So that covers the, uh, the assembly and some three-phase electrical information on the uh, Carpet Johnny full-size batch freezer models. If you have any other questions about batch freezers, soft serve machines, frozen drink machines, 
anything that, that has to do with uh, frozen dessert or frozen beverages, we can help you out, get you set up with the right machine and the right product to go in it. And you can find us online at www.slicesconcession.com and also on social media. So thanks for watching and have a great day.